Hello guys, today I'm going to explain you how can we solve the problem where we are supposed to find a subarray whose sum is equal to a given target and for example here we can see that 2 plus 7 plus 6 plus 3 gives you the uh, the target sum also 3 plus 1 plus 14 gives you the same and also 1 plus 14 plus 3 so there are multiple occurrences of such subarray whose sum is equal to a given target sum uh, let's try to see how can we solve this for at, at least one occurrence and then we can uh, continue finding the other occurrences as well so the most basic approach that we can follow here is we can try to build all the subarrays and find, check if their sum of all their elements is equal to the given target or not for example we can we can try to build all this subarrays starting from the zeroth index and check if their target uh, if their sum of elements is equal to the target or sum or not and then we can do the same form starting from 1 to 2 and uh, starting from 1 starting from 2 and so on but this will be of o of n square time complexity which will not work in most of the cases because in yeah it will take a whole lot of time so let's see how can we optimize this further Alright, so let's see how can we optimize our algorithm further. So let's see what we were doing previously while starting from index 0 what we were trying to do is trying to find all the subarray sum whose sum is equals to 18. So let's see how can we do this. So we were adding 2 plus 7 plus 6 plus 3 which will give you the exact sum which is 18. So is there a way is there any uh is there any sense to go ahead keep on adding let's assume for now that we will stop here only all right so and then we have found a particular subarray so this is one of the answer all right so what we are going to do is going ahead and then starting this all the sub subarrays starting from first index so we will keep on adding 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 3 16 plus 1 17 and then we'll, when we'll add 14, we know that we have exceeded the target sum. We don't need to go further and uh, we can stop here and then we can start from 6. We'll add 6 plus 3, 9 plus 1, 10 plus 14 is 24, which is also not going to give us the target sum. So now that we know, we don't need to traverse the whole array starting from this any index. But is it is it the most optimized way? let's say our all arrays, uh, arrays sum itself was less than the target sum that we are looking for we again have to go from the zeroth index till the last index and that would not give us the most optimized version so now uh, to get the best intuition behind our solution what we can do is not stopping at the index where we found the exact target or reached beyond that so let's say in this example if we add one more we'll reach to 19 and we know that 19 is one bigger than the target so if we get to know from from the zeroth index was there any subarray whose sum was equals to one then we can exclude that subarray and the rest of the part like from here till here we would have if this was the case whose sum starting from zero till here is one then we can exclude this subarray and the middle subarray would be thus our target subarray this is not the most appropriate example i will just uh, draw on this one to show explain you so let's keep on adding we add 19 and uh, we saw that this is bigger than uh, 18 by one value so we don't have a subarray we keep on adding we now reach to 14 and 14 would give us 33 33 minus 18 is equals to 15 so we will we will check into our subarray that did we see any subarray whose sum was equals to 15 let's see yeah we saw a subarray whose sum was equals to 15 when we reached till uh, zero uh, from zero to second index we saw a sum whose sum was equals to 15 so now we know that there there exists another subarray whose sum is equals to uh, 18 because from here till here we had this sum whose sum was equals to 33 and from here till here we know that there was this subarray whose sum is equals to 15 so if we subtract this we will get to know that the subarray which is here whose sum will be equals to what we are looking for so now that we got our intuition let's uh, 
let's try to formalize it so basically uh, what we keep on uh, doing is we keep on continue adding the subsequent element into our current sum and we keep on also checking how can we uh, what was there any subarray starting from zeroth index to till this index whose sum is equals to the current uh, whose uh, whose sum is equals to the difference of the current sum minus target sum so from here and if we subtract this one we will get our answer and now that we know that we can add keep on adding the elements and as we reach a particular sum whose sum is equals to the given target then we know that we have for sure found one occurrence of such subarray whose sum is equals to the target when we are not going to stop there we will keep on adding and once we reach a particular sum whose sum is whose who which is greater than the target sum what we need to know is whether there exists another subarray starting from zeroth index whose sum is equals to the difference of the current sum minus target how are we going to look up how are we going to know whether this particular sum exists or not so this is where we need two things to understand we need to know a prefix sum that we just discussed that we'll keep on adding and a hash map which will get, which will help us get the lookup in o of one amortized constant time so hash map plus prefix is going to give us the solution let's see what is a hash map and what what is it prefix sum now we have a hash map and a prefix sum how can we use them to get our answer so what are we going to do is we are going to keep on adding each prefix sum that we have found till now into our hash map and we add and before adding we also check that whether the current prefix sum minus the target is, does it already exist into array so if that exists we know that there exists a subarray whose sum is equals to 18 as we saw in the previous examples so if we are interested in knowing from where this subarray starts and from uh, till where this subarray ends so till where this subarray ends is pretty obvious that till the current index and if we need to know from where this subarray started we can th get that by storing the index of each sum into our hash map so basically the key will be the sum and the value would be the index at which this sum started so basically if we add 2 into our hash map we would record that 2 was found at uh, 0th index and if we add 9 we would record that it was found at the first index similarly if we added 15 we would record that this was found at 15 sorry the second index and till here we saw that we found 33 so what we we would check is the the index at which the 50 sum was found we know that the next in uh, we found the array subarray would be the starting starting from the next index that is the third index so we are going to store key and value would be the index value would be i and our answer would be that the subarray starts from i plus 1th to the current sum current index sorry yeah let's do a dry run of our algorithm on this example only so initially we would we would add 0 is to 1 that is 0 sum at minus 1 index that means we haven't uh, started yet and we know that we have a sum equals to zeros this will help us in the example where we would know we would get the exact sum we would know that there exists a sum which is equal to zero and that is at the minus index so that we will know that from zeroth index because we saw that the value which is stored here at the each sum that is the index at till where we found that sum we will know that from the next index we have our array we have our subarray whose sum is equal to the target sum so if we reach here as we saw in the example if we reach we keep on adding the prefix sum and we reach 18 so now we reach 18 here and we will check in our sub uh, in our map whether 18 minus the current target 18 minus the target equals to 0 whether 0 exists or in our sub in our map or not so we found that yes it exists and it exists with minus 1 index so we know that as we saw that we need to print from minus 1 
the i plus 1 till the current index so current index is uh, i guess current index is 3 so we know that there exists a sum who uh, subarray whose sum is equals to 18 it starts from 0 till minus uh, till 3 we, then we keep on adding the next uh, next elements and then we'll reach here we'll reach 33 33 and we'll subtract 33 minus 18 we will know that yes 18 uh, 15 exist and 15 was existing at second index so we we would know from third index till the current index that was fifth index at which we found that 13 sum it exists so we we can record another occurrence of this similarly we starting from here till here we would record another element that is 4 till 6 so yeah now that we have seen simulated this example let's see how can we code this thanks so let's quickly see how can we code this in c++ so we need size and we need a target sum we can take the input for them and we also need an array we can iterate from 0 to n to get to get each element and then what we can do is we can instantiate one map here of integer key and integer value let's call it map we also need flag which will let us know whether there exists any such subarray or not we also need a prefix sum which will be initially zero we need to insert zero with the value of minus one and then we can go through our array to build the prefix sum and check for each prefix sum whether the prefix sum minus the target value like yeah if map dot find prefix sum minus the target value is not equals to map sorry yeah, map dot n then we can simply say sub array from your yeah, map of ref minus x till sorry this will be plus one as i just explained till till yeah the ith value the ith index and we can mark this flag true because we have found at least one also as we discussed we need to insert this into our map now so we can insert this prefix with the value of the current index and then we can simply check if this is not existing we can say we don't have such survey so let's see yeah so as you can see for from the given subarray we can say 0 till 3 we can say yeah it is sim it is giving us the correct result as we have seen through our examples all right thank thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed